is asking hi ap i want to know when someone passes away is it okay if we don't do death rituals there are uh, three forces at three levels that uh, affect us at two levels it is uh, just all right to bypass rituals one of uh, them one of those levels has to be managed the third one you see the body the person is gone so existence doesn't bother hmm? prakriti prakriti has no need of rituals and does not bother for any some sects groups have one kind of ritual and obviously others have other kinds to existence it is all the same whether you burn or bury so if you say is it all right from a prakritik perspective from an existential perspective it is very much all right birth is significant life is significant death too has a certain significance but rituals whether at the time of uh, birth or death mean nothing to prakriti the kid is born you celebrate it the kid still remains born you do not celebrate it that doesn't mean that the kid will slip back into the womb prakriti has done what she had to there is no space or uh, consideration for uh, any product of uh, human thought there that's what rituals are right we put these rituals together they are a product of our thinking so this is the level of prakriti then there is the level of the truth where there is neither birth nor death even at that level rituals don't matter nothing has gone away nobody has died what is the point of rituals truth uh, does not care for birth or death truth alone is whatsoever seems to come and go is just an apparition it is not to be cared for beyond a point so the very basic level of prakriti their rituals are immaterial equally they are immaterial in the dimension of truth in between these two is the level of the mind the prakritik level is the level of the body the level of truth is the level of the self the great self atma in between these two is the level 
of the mind and mind is social mind is society now this is where these rituals seem to matter not that there is any absolute significance but just that man being heavily influenced by society if he decides to overrule social dictums then the rebellion and its consequences have to be managed that's all prakriti won't object if there are no rituals and truth won't object if there are no rituals but the society and the social mind would definitely raise eyebrows so even there the significance is just that proper management of the repercussions has to be there otherwise uh, you could uh, just rise in your individual rebellion and say that you want to defy all the social norms and find that you are unable to bear the backlash from the society one has to be prepared for that you don't follow rituals yes there would be people around you forces and voices around you that would uh, do whatever they can if it's in their power they would want to crack down if they can't crack down they'll at least uh, whisper and uh, just make things a little awkward for you if you can manage that everything is all right the mind has to be managed unfortunately our minds are not free our minds are heavily influenced by the society so when the society will raise eyebrows or a loud hue and cry then the mind might get affected that you must remember you must gather strength you must ask yourself how much do others bother you and when you see that uh, you feel ready to go for an all out defiance then you should just declare war and this kind of thing is definitely Uh, war at least that's the way the society would look at it and that's okay obviously i'm not trying to discourage you i'm just saying that this is what is going to happen and before you step into it you must have adequate preparation hmm? existentially and absolutely no issues at all by existence i mean this prakritik existence existentially absolutely absolutely meaning at the level of the truth self atma no problems at all nobody is going to bother there is nobody to bother but mentally yes the whole affair has to be tactfully managed there has to be resolve within and tact outside and then it's all right to those who cannot manage it those who still don't have taste for blows those who still can't take it on the chin 
to them, I say, don't get into needless rebellions. There are bigger battles to fight. Right? But it's not uh, a universal and absolute advice. If you feel you are uh, game, if you feel your time has come, I would never discourage you from rising. It's an individual decision and the consequences have to be taken uh, as an individual. Right? So, so you need to check yourself. You find yourself ready to go. Go for it. <laughs>